hopefully you are having a lovely Catholic Schools Week. Saint Madness is continuing along. We started with 24 saints, and after this episode, we'll have just six more left and six more episodes after this one as well. So let's waste no time and go right into the results from last time. This late in the series, I wouldn't expect a blowout, but that's what we had here with a final tally of 338 to 120. And our winning saint was... Saint Nicholas! Apparently, people are very happy with their hair. No need for the patron saint of hairdressers. But we love Mary Magdalene, of course. Very sad to see her go. Looking here at the bracket now, Saint Nicholas will move on to face Saint Gabriel in the semifinals. And now today we begin the other half of our quarterfinal matchups. But first, let's say farewell to Saint Mary Magdalene with a prayer. Beginning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Saint Mary Magdalene, woman of many sins, by who conversion became the beloved of Jesus, thank you for your witness that Jesus forgives through the miracle of love. You, who already possess eternal happiness in his glorious presence, please intercede for me so that someday I may share in the same everlasting joy. Amen. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. And now it's time to meet... Our Saint Showdown today will be between Saint Elizabeth Ann Seton and Saint Valentine. My goodness, this is going to be one tough vote. So be sure to pay close attention to both of these advertisements. What's up, man? Dude, what are you doing? You'll never guess what I did, bro. What? I bought a boat, bro. Bro, can you even drive a boat, bro? Come on, bro. I learned from experience. Well, sick, man. Let's go boating, dude. Are you a dude who just bought a boat but doesn't even know how to drive it? Well, I have got just the saint for you, Saint Elizabeth Ann Seton. Saint Elizabeth Ann Seton is the patron saint of seafarers, which makes her perfect for your inexperienced boat handling. She's also the patron saint of Catholic schools and widows. I gotta be honest with you, Big E is the raddest, baddest, rootinest, tootinest, most awesome saint in the entire multiverse. If you want to be the best on the sea, vote for Saint E. Radical! Honey, will you marry me? It was just a dream. It's okay, I'll find love soon. Hi, Kyle. What? You're breaking up with me? I thought you were gonna ask me out on a second date. Fine, whatever. Hi, Jessica. I'm Valentine. I've been watching you up in heaven. I've seen that you've had a little trouble finding a boyfriend. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm doing just fine. Well, if you want some help, I know just the thing for you. What? Not only did I marry people, I also myself fell in love with Julia, the blind girl that I healed. Even though I got arrested and later beheaded for this, I know how much joy it can bring someone to fall in love. I think I'm good. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I just love love. You know, I'm the patron saint of it. Okay, fine, but what do you even want to show me? After years of seeing people try and fail to fall in love, I created something to help them out. 
I created Love Letter, so even you can fall in love. What is that? What is Love Letter? It's an app I made so people can fall in love by writing each other love letters. How did you come up with that? I got inspiration from the love letter I wrote before I was beheaded. Oh, that's cool. I guess I can get it. I mean, it's not gonna hurt, I guess. Honey, will you marry me? Yes, yes. This time, it's not a dream. After I got Love Letter, I fell in love in seven months. Download Love Letter today to fall in love with your Valentine.